If you like this video, please subscribe, like, and go to training.mammothinteractive.com where we have tons of more videos just like this. In this lecture, we will learn what is the Unreal Engine version 5. Unreal is a game engine. The point of a game engine is for a game developer to create a game more easily. So if you didn't have a game engine, you would have to create your game from scratch with code. But with a game engine, you can use functionality that is pre-built for you for creating a game. So if you want to create a player or if you want to create a world and design the environment, etc., build lighting, add colors, materials, textures, a game engine makes it a lot faster to set up all of that in the game. As well, a game engine takes care of rendering for 2D and 3D graphics for 2D and 3D games, as well as for physics and collision detection. So physics meaning gravity and being able to move in the game. Collision meaning if two objects collide, what should happen? Should they bounce apart? Should they go straight through each other? You have to build all of that from scratch with a game, but with a game engine, a lot of that is handled for you. As well, a game engine takes care of sound, so you can more easily set up sound effects and music, and scripting. You can build out your scripts, whether it's with a programming language or if it's with visual scripting like blueprints. For example, with a game engine, you can actually use blueprints to visually build out your functionality. Unreal was initially developed for first-person shooter games, the FPS genre, but Unreal has grown into a 3D creation platform used to build games across a range of genres for different platforms. Unreal is also used for designing cars, for film and as well video and virtual reality experiences, and for manufacturing design. So Unreal is used for a lot. It's very popular and its most popular feature is the game development feature, the game engine. Unreal is a piece of software for building virtual worlds, like games, visualizations, and entertainment. It is the most open and advanced real-time 3D creation tool. It's completely free to use Unreal. Once your project makes a million dollars, you have to start paying 5% royalties, but up until then, it's completely free to install and use Unreal and publish games that you build with Unreal. Unreal has a large active community and Unreal was initially built by Epic Games, a big company that is behind the game Fortnite and Infinity Blade. Unreal supports tons of advanced features like pipeline integration, animation, simulation and effects, integrated media, building worlds, building gameplay, Hollywood quality rendering, lighting and materials, virtual production and developer tools. There are advanced features of Unreal Engine 5, like Nanite, which is for building extremely detailed worlds where you can zoom in and have a high level of detail in your game without compromising the rendering and processing power. Because traditionally, if you want to have a high level of detail in your game, this takes up a lot of computer power and a lot of storage. But with Unreal 5's Nanite system, you can have detail while still maintaining your computer processing speed and your storage so you don't have to compromise on your use of speed and frame rates with Nanite. As well with Unreal Engine 5 we get Lumen which allows us to create lighting in the game much faster so you don't have to author light map UVs or wait for light maps to bake or place reflection captures. It's much easier to do high quality lighting with Lumen. So that is Unreal Engine 5. Join me in the next lecture where we will continue our course. In this lecture, we will learn what is a blueprint because in this course, we will be doing visual scripting with blueprints. Blueprints allow you to give behavior to your game objects. For example, you can have a blueprint to represent a player and then you can build out the behavior of the player like can the player run? Can the player collect 
points can the player change levels? With a blueprint, we can write the functionality for an object and it's an alternative to C++. So instead of coding with a programming language, you can code with blueprints. As a game developer, you should know how to use both blueprints and a programming language. In Unreal, you can use C++ as the programming language and blueprints as well, or choose one or the other. Commonly, a combination of both is used. Blueprints are easier to start off with if you are completely new to programming because they are visual and they're easier to debug. A blueprint usually has an object that you can see in the world. So usually the blueprint is connected to some object like a player, an enemy, a bot, a food item, a loot box. But a blueprint could be invisible. It could be a game controller or a player controller. Then you can add a behavior to the blueprint. If an object does not need behavior, then it doesn't need a blueprint. For example, if you just have a wall or a house in your game and it doesn't need to do anything, then it may not need a blueprint. A blueprint is like a class in object-oriented programming, where a class is used to represent some entity like a player or a food item or a collectible item. So with blueprints, it's a great way to learn object-oriented programming in a visual manner. Many programming languages are object-oriented, which means they use this structure of having classes to represent entities, and then you can create objects from those classes, just like how you could use a blueprint of an airplane to create the airplane. You can use the blueprint of a class to create an object. You can create multiple instances of a blueprint and each of them is its own object. For example, I can create one food blueprint, but then I can create multiple instances or objects of that blueprint, which means that the object is built with the blueprint. This is like creating a blueprint to build out a car and then building multiple cars using that blueprint. Each object behaves independently, but it has this common template that was used to create the object. So that is an overview of blueprints, which we will be using in our course in order to build out our game functionality. Join me in the next lecture. In this lecture, we will learn how to debug the Unreal Engine. Debugging referring to solving errors or fixing problems when something doesn't go as you expected. For example, you might code out some functionality, but then it might not react or work quite as you expected when you hit play. The number one place to go to to see what might have gone wrong is the window tab in the Unreal Editor and then the output log. The output log allows you to see what happens at each step of the game, what messages were logged out. And if you see error messages there, they can tell you what went wrong. As well, you can search up your error message via a search engine. There are many answers on websites like Stack Overflow or the Unreal forums because there are many developers out there just like you who are developing games with Unreal. So if you have a question, likely someone has also had that question. So if you can't solve your problem on your own and figure out why something went wrong on your own, then you can search up your question online. You could even join a Discord server for Unreal developers. A great place to see questions and to ask questions is the Unreal Forum at forums.unrealengine.com. You can also visit the official documentation for the Unreal Engine, where you can read more about what is supposed to happen whenever you use a certain part of Unreal. So those are some tips for debugging Unreal. Let's continue this course in the next lecture. If you liked this video, then go to training.mammothinteractive.com. We have tons more content on blockchain, web development, machine learning, and much more. 
We also have a membership for just $19 a month where you can get access to our 372 course bundle and counting.